Hi, my name is Susanna Cranford. My name is Paige Chisholm. My name is Bunty Patel. My name is Anna Robertson. So I think the fellowship impacted the way I view uh, individuals with disabilities. I used to be very shy, for lack of a better word, towards these individuals because I had no idea of how to interact with them, of what they viewed of themselves. And so I was hesitant to bring my views into it. And I think the biggest thing that I've learned through this fellowship is that every individual with disabilities typically doesn't see themselves as disabled. And so that really has changed my way of working with these individuals. I feel like I learned a lot about the wide variety of disabilities there are. And it's not just physical, there's lots of um, like developmental disabilities as well. And just like the wide variety of people you see and experience it. So for me, the most valuable would be the experience because going into the fellowship, I had zero experience. To even like get comfortable with the patients, that was the also the most important. Not just people with uh, disabilities, even for regular patients, other patients, I felt like experience was the most important thing. I think the RISE school really impacted me a lot because I was able to see how working with patients with disabilities from a young age can impact them for the rest of their lives. You could see how even just a year of focused individualized care allowed them to grow and be more functioning than they might have been without that education, without that work, without all of those resources. And to me, the most valuable thing about the fellowship was being able to see like all the different comorbidities with each disability that exist and also um, the differences and like the theories behind each location we went to and the impact it had on um, the clients that attended the place that they were at. I, I learned a lot of different things in this fellowship. I think one of the first things that I learned was um, one of our patients at Transition Medicine, she um, had rat syndrome and with that she had had a lot of um, mobility issues and so she was wheelchair bound and and one of the things that I, I walked in not really knowing how to think outside of the box when it was like taking vital signs and doing that and so my nurse gave me the hands-on she was she was just like go take their her vital signs and so I had to learn to think out of the box in the moment um, and hold her hand while I was trying to take her blood pressure and I had kind of had to put her elbow on my side so that she wouldn't move because um, she was really anxious about getting the vital signs taken and so just through that one experience I was able to start and learn to think outside of the box a little bit more. I was going to say that I think the most, um, the location that impacted me the most overall was transition medicine because of the way the nurses there helped us and supported us, but also like threw us into the situations with guidance, of course, but also like they weren't going to hold our hands the entire time. Um, and I felt like that was like a really great learning experience for me because I wouldn't have otherwise been put in those situations if they had not thrown us into them and so like learning to take vitals and just getting more comfortable with communication and assessment and like health interviews um, or health assessment interviews has been really beneficial for me like in clinicals now I've noticed like just the impact that that location specifically has had and so, so I definitely think it's helped me grow as a professional um, it's helped me like Helen said, think outside of the box, but also like have more confidence in my skills and communication and also like understanding the patient's experience or like if you don't understand it, just asking questions and no matter what disability it is, I think that um, they each come with different symptoms and comorbidities, so I feel like that has been really beneficial for me. I think my most impactful experience of this fellowship was um, at Shriners. I got to spend a morning in the cerebral palsy clinic, and that was really cool to kind of see the, like the, um, what's the word, like the 
Spectrum. Spectrum, there you go. The mm-hmm. spectrum of um, disability within cerebral palsy. And so that was really cool. I got to see kind of what, what concerns they bring to the table um, and just a lot more about the care of that. So my last clinical was in the ER. So it's a different population. You never know what population you have to deal with. So one of my nurses asked if I was comfortable taking vital signs of a patient with autism. And I felt confident because of my prior uh, knowledge and prior experience to the fellowship. I felt confident. I told her that I think I can do it. I went into the room. I talked to the mom. I talked to the patient who had autism. I had to explain what I was doing and just tell them what I was doing. It was as simple as explaining. And I felt that confidence came from my prior knowledge at the fellowship. So that was very beneficial. As seen at different facilities that it's a spectrum and different age will have a different, um, it will present differently. So I feel like a little experience from each facility built on it. I don't know if it's been like one particular patient in my clinicals so far this semester, but I feel as a whole, I'm able to be more compassionate and think more about the patient's mindset. I think that's a big thing that I've, that the fellowship, because I went into the fellowship knowing that they had intellectual disabilities. I knew that they had certain things about them that would require patience and would require compassion. And so I feel that now that I'm in clinicals, I go into it with that same mindset without actually knowing that they might have any, if that makes sense. Um, so my pediatrics clinical has been on a neurology floor, and so I've seen a lot of um, kids with disabilities through that, and so I think having this fellowship experience has really given me more confidence to um, provide care for them and stuff, and think about like what ways I can kind of cater what I'm saying or what I'm doing to help them feel more comfortable. Um, a specific incidence um, where I had to care for an individual with a disability in the clinical that I'm in right now um, was an older gentleman came in and we hadn't had a chance, it was in an ICU and so we hadn't had a chance to like review his health history, but um, you could tell that there was, when he was communicating with us, he had like a very flat effect and like, um, there was just something that my nurse was like, I don't understand what's like, she was like, I don't know what it is. And I was like, we should look at the health history. And it turns out he had autism spectrum disorder. And um, that, for me, I was like a lot more confident talking to him after we found that out. Because at first we were both like very confused about like, is he okay? Is this normal for him? Is this part of whatever his illness was? Um, and so the confidence that I had after realizing he had um, autism just, really helped me with like assessments and communicating with him and then also like explaining things to my nurse who hadn't ever cared for an individual that she knew of who had autism and so that was something for me that was has been really impactful I think. It's tremendously helpful it's not only going to build your knowledge and experience for the specific population it's probably going to put you ahead in the next semester and in your nursing career. So I would definitely encourage, and it, the workload wasn't much, it was doable, and the fact that it's not offered in summer should also give them an edge because they have extra weeks during falls and spring to do it. So it's manageable, and I would definitely encourage. For sure, I think um, I'm a lot more confident in my last semester with my skills because of the fellowship, because I would say I really didn't get much hands-on experience before um, that semester. Yeah, I would say that I definitely recommend this to other students. This has been like, or the fellowship has been the like most beneficial experience I've had in nursing school this far, just with all the skills that we get to practice and all of the different situations that we get to see. It's, I don't think that you can get it anywhere else besides in the fellowship because of all the different locations and different illnesses you see. I think it's beneficial from both working with a population that you might not have encountered thus far, but you know that you will encounter, as well as just 
working with anyone in general. I think it really helps us as nurses um, because we still have to work on communicating with the family. We still have to work on communicating with, with individuals that don't have disabilities throughout the whole entire disability fellowship. And so you get a good interaction of both as well as we're practicing skills that we haven't practiced since the beginning of nursing school. And so it makes us more confident in that with the special population. So we can go into our quote unquote normal population and be really confident in it. I think the Rice School just really impacted me the most. Um, I remember thinking that if I ever had a child with disabilities, I would want them to go to the Rice School because the the kids were so loving I remember we left at lunch and all the kids were like you're leaving (laughs) it was so sweet it was just so touching that even just a morning with the kids could be so impactful to them and to me Uh, I think that was just seeing the combination of normally developmental um, children with and mixed in with intellectually disabled and children was such a cool dynamic to see uh, and to see that it really helped the development with the intellectually disabled. It, it was amazing to see. I think for me something that um, has been just memorable overall was just realizing the capabilities each of the individuals that we um, interacted with had and like also the differences in resources and seeing like where the patient was at and their like health status Um, and so that for me was something that kind of was an eye-opener like seeing individuals at the rise school who received really amazing care and then seeing individuals at like shriners who like they received amazing care at Shriners, but they probably didn't have as amazing resources outside, or as great of resources outside of Shriners. And so um, for me, that was really eye-opening, just the differences in their health status because of the resources. And I wish that everyone could have all the resources that Mm -hmm. the kids at the Rise School had or everything, so. The individual I chose for my case study for the fellowship was an individual with Nogger syndrome. It's a, I chose it because it was such a rare syndrome. I've never heard of it before. Um, none of the nurses really had heard of it prior to um, that uh, patient becoming a patient at that facility. And um, something that really stood out to me in the syndrome was that something that stood out about the syndrome was the fact that he wasn't able to communicate or express his concerns because of his um, physical disabilities and for me that I couldn't imagine how frustrating that was and so that's why it it also stood out to me and I chose him for my case study. At tear urology I thought it was really interesting. The nurses were amazing. Uh, They really helped us learn about aspects we hadn't really thought of before and we did we had just an older lady she was wanting to be discharged and so we had to test her bladder to see if she would be able to retain um not retain but to uh urinate void independently um and so all four of us didn't think she would be able to do it just from you know working with her and the setup and everything like that we just didn't think that it was gonna happen um to be honest like I feel like we went into it very biased of looking at her and just assuming uh but I mean throughout the whole entire test we gave her fluids and she was able to independently go and so it was just one of those situations where it was reminding us not to you know live on our own preconceived biases but we really have to go through everything to make sure that the patient you know can actually do it without giving them you know preconceived notions Uh, so that was a really cool experience i think another reason why tier um really stood out to me was because of the individuals who are patients there who all like experience these like really profound injuries 
and all of the patients like still had hope and I felt like that says something about tear in itself that it really instilled hope in the patients that went there that they might not be to their like full level of abilities that they were prior to the injury but that they can get somewhere and that they are still capable of living life and being happy and trying their best at everything they do and so that is something that really stood out to me just this compassion that you can give patients and how big of an impact it can have on them. But yeah, I can speak for all of us to a certain point that the overall experience helped us uh, break every preconceived biases about what the people with disabilities uh, face in their life. Like, we don't know about so many resources that is out there, mm -hmm. such as the occupational. When we work with the occupational therapist at the chair, we learned that they do so much that is out there to help them regain their functional abilities, if not to what they were prior, but to their best as possible. So yeah, it is, and also at TCH Autism Clinic, I, I also noticed that the family, especially the parents' involvement, and them having a knowledge also makes a big difference for a child getting a care as soon as possible. So yeah, it's not that the disability will limit them, it's just, you have to find a different pathway afterwards. I think that something about the fellowship is that when people think about applying, they only think like, oh, I won't only want to apply because I want to work with this population or like, oh, you get to get experience in PD. Oh, you get to get experience in like amputees. But like, I think that no matter what area of nursing you want to go into, this fellowship is extremely beneficial just because of all of the different illnesses you see, all of the different skills you get to practice, all of the different locations that we get to go to. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like um, I had no idea going into this what I was going to see, and I'm so thankful that I did the fellowship just so I could see all the different areas of nursing that are available and also like all of the different um, skills that go into caring for individuals with disabilities also that can, you can take to any job that you have.